Hello, welcome to this video about scanning, setting up scan credentials, and specifically within your on-prem environment with LandSweeper. Let's jump right into LandSweeper and take a look at the two differences between the credential and the credentialist type of scans. Let's get right into it. So over here, I have um, navigated straight to my LandSweeper on-premise installation. And what I've done, I'm, I'm going to demonstrate to you my current configuration so you can understand the differences of what we're working with. I'm going to be working with my Contoso IP range, and that's the 1040.0.1 through the dot. 110 range. And if I scroll down, um, actually, let's come over to my credentials and we can look at my credentials here. And underneath this particular IP range right here, we have the 1040.0.1 through the 10. And you can see there are no credentials. All I have are my global credentials. Let's look real briefly at our global credentials. Global credentials are these that are in the in my environment, the pink and the blue. Um, the pink is indicating that there's no login assigned where the blue is has something assigned. And you can see from my Windows to my vCenter to my S, uh, SNMP and so forth, the only one that I have in here that are active are the root and the community in each of these. So that would mean down here into my scanning uh, target, I only have those credentials that will be used within this IP range. So let's jump out over here to my list of assets. And I'm going to filter out down to my Contoso range, my Contoso, uh, excuse me, uh, um, domain. And here you can see I have ran a scan and I've got a lot of these errors uh, in here showing that I've got a lot of um, problems here because it's it's no valid credentials as you can see in each of these. No credentials are found. The question ultimately comes to what is going to be seen by LandSweeper with no credentials. So let's go into one of these and we're gonna go into the same one. So let's go into this H, uh, HQ for the headquarters um, and the domain controller. Let's jump into that one and take a look. And we can see that there's not a lot of information here. I mean, there is some very useful information, but I think you'll see when we compare it to the uh, deep scan, you'll see there's gonna be a lot more information. But this is still very useful. Um, we can see that this is a Windows server. We can see the build and the version specifically, the domain it's a part of. Um, we can see it's a virtual machine as well. It is active, of course, because it's pingable and reachable. It has been scanned. Um, we can see even the IP range and a MAC address associated to this. So now over the next few minutes, I'm going to take and install some scan credentials where we can actually get more information. Uh, we'll be able to assign those credentials specifically to the scan target, where then that those credentials will be used on those specific assets within this IP range. So let me take a few minutes and get these installed. Very good. So what I've done here uh, in order to be able to capture all of these in one window is I've held down my control key where I can control click um, and grab individual ones or click again and it makes it go away. But by control click, I can select all the ones that I want right there. I'm going to hit OK. You can see now within the same IP range that we've added all of our credentials. And if I come over to my scan targets and I'm going to rerun this particular scan target here and I'm going to tell it to scan now. And so you can see that it is running. I'm going to come to my scanning. I can come down to this menu or I can come off to the side and look inside of my scanning queue. And as this is preparing to run, we'll be able to see this queue build. Um, and let me just throw this out too. While this is running, if you find that maybe you want to have more IPs being scanned uh, than Windows particular machines, maybe you want to balance that load, maybe your server has got a lot of compute assigned to it and you want to have more performance brought out of it. While this is running, let me show you that real quick. We can come over here to configuration, come down to server options. And once we get into the scanning options, I'm going to scroll clear to the bottom. And inside here, we have the computer threads are listed at 15. IP threads are at 20. This should be uh, default. Although this is my lab, I've made some changes, but your environment in the default should be very close to this. You can have up to 100 threads combined between these two, the computer threads and the IP threads. And this is a limitation of, the, of SQL threads and communications coming in and out. And 
But if you find that your server or your scanning is not going as fast as you want, you can up, up, um, uh, up these numbers a little bit and change this up just a, a little bit. So, you know, I can go from 15 to maybe 20. And from 20, I can take this up to 25. You know, I would encourage you to take these in small increments, depending on how many scan servers you have and the environment you have going on. But just be aware of the changes and the impact to the environment that you have here. Let's go back over to my scanning queue. And you can see that my IP scans have completed. I have these 15, as we talked about earlier, these 15 um, Windows computer scans are happening, and I have just a few more to run after this. Okay, I can see that we're nearly completed, and I can also see that my test server I wanna work with has also been done. So let's jump over to the list of assets, and let's start filtering this down to find my Contoso domain. Oh, if I could spell Contoso right, right? There we go. Spelling is always helpful. And now you can see it looks a little different. I've got a lot more information in here in this first page. I can also see I have no or very few scanning errors. A couple of my scanning errors here are, are other things that I have configured in my lab here that intentionally throws me errors for the purpose of trying to demonstrate. But let's go into my headquarters Windows DC1 again, and let's take a look at that. And as I said before, look, the, the, there's a whole lot more information here. We can see the information about the hardware, as well as the software, uh, the software that's installed, maybe it's uh, specific licenses or different features that you have installed, antivirus that might be installed. If we go into the configuration, we can see how things are configured here. So right out the gate, a, a scan with credentials provides a whole lot more of in-depth detail that you really need for your environment. I hope this is really helpful in trying to figure out how to install, how to configure your credentials and what exactly you get and how does it differ from the credentialist or our credential-free device recognition, we call it CDR, what those CDR scans look like. I hope that's been helpful and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.